Hello, everybody. I am going to be playing that um, battle of the bikini bottom SpongeBob were hydrated. Well, the, the world's were hydrated is exactly the world's remastered because it was actually a 2001 version of it. That was a long time ago, but this is like a remastered version of it with much better graphics and maybe some new features. And but it has like a similar lighting style as um the um new SpongeBob movie, the SpongeBob Run. Where um, Gary gets missing and stolen and SpongeBob's childhood. Like Camp Coral. You have a book of that. So I um, must get over the game. Let's turn on the cord. Before I take the screen up with the game, this is all my um SpongeBob plushies lined up together. We have um, Patrick Spudward. Mr. Crab, Sandy, Gary, and Spongebob. <laughs> Alright, this is how it looks like on screen the intro. We're hydrated, which would mean we're mastered because this is actually a remastered version. That, there's a, a dead robot. That's a dead robot. These are like some of the monsters. The are um, robots. Now, um, the, the Spongebob's pineapple is windows kind of high, high up there. There's also really good lighting. It looks similar to that Spongebob movie, uh, that, um, the Spongebob on the run. There's some tiki's, it's actually similar, it actually looks similar to the tiki's in the 2001 version, or three, or... That looks like a bowl of toast sauce. <laughs> It has a really long loading screen, so I don't want to keep you waiting. This is the Nickelodeon. SpongeBob, and just, that was a SpongeBob theme. This is um just some comic theme. This looks just like the um SpongeBob SquarePants intro on the show. Just more frames per minute. You see how I was talking about how it looks a lot like the um SpongeBob movie, the Sponge on the Run. It must have been based off of it. Um, before it was released, I um saw a a um Nickelodeon card, but it didn't but it contained more Nickelodeon characters and only just one. one. And oh look, that's based off of the intro. And there's also a couple poses that like a mock like SpongeBob mocking when his eyes are like that and he's like die like that meme. Um SpongeBob's coil pants, but yeah for a bikini bottom remastered, or you should say well, hydrated. Um so um let's start. I'm gonna just get comfortable. So um let's start the game. I'm not gonna record because I don't have a microphone yet. I'm not and I don't feel like doing a voiceover either. Press X to start. Right now it's just quiet. I can turn up the volume if it's hard to hear it to you guys. Well, it's gonna be loud when I smash Kinky, so, I mean, so you just so you can hear it a little better. Um, continue to the key bottom. I think I got on February 3rd or something, that's when I first got the game. Well, it was actually installed like, like, like at February 3rd, in the night of February 3rd, my, because... In the night, my, at 8 o'clock, I um, went on and installed it real quick while I was sleeping so I could play it tomorrow. I actually resumed in Jellyfish Fields. Now, right now I have 2,370 shiny objects right now. Well, I wish I could have 3,500 because I was on 3,000, 3,500, and then I just collected one golden spatula to unlock the bikini bottom. And if you find bus stops, um, then it means, um, when you find bus stops, I'm sorry if it's hard to hear me, I'll turn it back down a little bit. Please, Jellyfish, don't sting me. Yeah, Jellyfish Field is a nice place. Looks pretty good in the game if you can go close to the water. Fuck, it actually looks pretty good. It's, it sort of looks like how it does on the surface. These are the tiki's. Yeah, you destroy them. 
to um get the um shiny objects and you can toy with Mr. Crafts with golden spatulas. I only tried two times and I owned a golden spatula and owned a golden spatula. And and I think I tried it again. I think and um ah. So I can unlock the bikini bottom and when you find a bus stop, uh you can you change your character. And I'll be showing you the bikini bottom and um the houses. This is Squidward. But one thing is oh, so I have not found any yet, but I, I think I might have found Patrick's sock. No, I did not, but I mean I did find one of the bikini bottom, I swear. And I swear I collected the spats and but I don't need, and I why do I still have them? I thought you have to spend them. I hit it back to the bikini bottom so I can show you around. Let's destroy these two keys. Now one thing I can be helpful, I know if you already play about you might not know this fact, but these robot this these um the, if you find like a thunder tiki that looks something like this and there's tiki other tiki's nearby, you can use it to demolish more tiki's. But just get on top of them but run away so you don't get exploded. And then and then you can get all of these. But it might not explode all of them because you might have to get because they might be too close. I mean, too far away that they can't get exploded. I don't know how to destroy them. They just, just disappear when I, like, when I look at them and get close. This is a lucky one. I can do this to explode those tiki's. Yep. Now, may I show you the inside of SpongeBob's pineapple? I want to end with SpongeBob's pineapple. Um. Right now it's a huge mess because some robots came in and destroyed everything. And and this is hilarious. <laughs> Your bikini pipe staying scary today. That's funny. It's hilarious. I make myself a snack, but there's no time. There's a cast register. I mean the um typewriter. A note from Mr. Krabs. And it even smells sweaty, just like him. And also it um it. It's, it's voices are uh, just like how he does in sound and the, um, the, the voices are exactly the same because of the same narrator in the voice because because Tom Kenny is still voicing Spongebob because it, it just seems accurate just because the crap sounds a little bit different and um it sounds pretty good graphics you see how it looks just like it's spongy out of water I mean like how he does look out of water and also how he looks like when he's in the sea in the um in the Spongy Hour Run movie, in the Spongy the Run movie, it's gonna be released soon, somewhere in the middle of 2021. I mean, 2021 just started, so we got a couple months. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! You As see? a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been er, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow! A promotion! That's right, a promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Now you shouldn't skip any cutscenes because then you don't know what to do. These are signs and you hit all oh, I want to read the signs and the shiny objects. Um, probably know what they look like because I just collected them on the beginning of the video. Um. If not, you probably might not be, be focusing, but I mean, I might show you what they look like if I ever find them. I make myself a snack, but there's no time! And that's kind of light, sorry. Now you can see a little clear. You can see bomb stings. Now let's exit SpongeBob's house. Oh wait, we are outside. Now I can show you Patrick's rock. Or well, Squidward's house. You probably... Um, I'm going to show you Squidward's house. It's very small, so... It's actually smaller than it looks. It's only like a bedroom thing. It's only like the top part of the house. You see, uh, I didn't if, know Squidward had a if you weren't paying attention what a shiny object looks like, it looks like this. There's little stars that looks like SpongeBob's plants. You see? Okay, how, like, they, like, they're like, like they look like SpongeBob's plants. And if I talk to Squidward right now, you don't. You, it's a very short conversation. It only goes like this. Hey, Squidward! Didn't I pay you to go away? Because he already paid me to get a to get a spatula. Now we can take a trip to the bikini bottom. 
I am not with my five spatulas. It's this way. And this is the first bus stop I ever encountered here. And it's not a taxi, there's actually a bus stop here that swaps your character than what's meant. Let's go. Alright, when you go to the Bikini Bottom, you can also go to the first account of Mrs. Puff. Without steering wheels, we can't use the boats to evacuate. Find them for me in downtown Bikini Bottom. Yeah, that's what this place is called, downtown Bikini Bottom. Now let's go to the bus stop. Now let's um, go up here and show you uh, what a bus stop is. Now in this mission, you do a bus stop. It tells you to get Sandy to um, help you. And then you actually turn into Sandy when the bus stop happens, like you see. Like you change your character when you have a bus stop. So, because you need this, uh, because um, there's actually some special things that SpongeBob doesn't do. But Sandy does like this. Like when you hold X on the PS4 controller, you can glide, hold it, you jump two times, and then hold it, and then you can have that ability to glide. So, um. There, were, there would be some shiny objects too, but there actually is not any because I already collected them. So, um. Then you go here, and then you should see some plates that you jump on. Because like you see, well, if I leave the bikini bottom, then you just turn back into your original character. Like you can actually like, 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 like you have a karate kicking power. And then also it can like attack. It's actually pretty strong when you destroy robots with Sandy's power and um like they these these are like like robot dogs but they respawn once you um destroy them. Like they, they just respawn. They're like undefeatable. <laughs> Now this part already open, so you don't need to jump through there anymore. I can do some underwear, so I throw some help. Some duck, so this is a particular shrine, you can, you can really destroy it. And that also does some damage. You can have a um, lasso power, which is actually pretty cool. It's like, a, like it was steady as a rope, and then it destroys the sinkies, and even to the thunder tinkies, but it does damage, and actually destroys multiple of them. Hi, Gary. Mouse. Wait, it didn't even know saying you can talk to Gary. I guess you can talk to any character with any character. With any character. It's a very cool how there's a lasso power. And also it's only for the bikini bottom, I think. This is only for the bikini bottom. And I actually I actually recognize that sea needle sign. I actually seen it in the SpongeBob um, TV show, the classic series. Smash them. And there's actually a karate power as you see. Like there's a karate, but I mean, it's interesting how you don't need to wear the cool action <laughs> Oh, it's just a game. Yeah. Wait, 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 was I slapping fish? I'm innocent. It is really funny when uh, you can slap fish. <laughs> That's actually what I'm using how you can slap fish. <laughs> Even a SpongeBob, but you have to do the bubble spin. <laughs> I kind of find, I find that a funny feature and how the screen shit. By the way, underwear is your health. Like underwear is your health, but if you like, like, let me show you this ketchup. Like, let me step on it. Then you lose heart and you lose your underwear. Then you have to recollect them that you can find somewhere. I mean, it's not really that rare, but I mean, it's rare, rare, easy, common. <laughs> um, yeah, that is um, and also the funny poses. That's a hilarious. <laughs> Another meme pose. Probably since they know they like meme. And the biggest thing is you have to jump on top of them and do, like do this. 
I mean, I mean, I don't know if you can even cry chop them with Sandy. I really don't think so, but like collect some other layer. But again, and I feel like in a rainbow color, it means you have to collect them. And don't get shot by those little carriages and these robots. So um. Yes, yeah, this is the Sponge, this is the, um, Spongebob Hydrated Battle of Bikini Bottom game. I have played it for, like, a couple days. For four days.